Hey guys, I am Vikash and in this tutorial, let's create a very simple brush stroke kind of text animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and I'm gonna call it text and click on create. Now we have to do some basic settings so click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 and set this timeline frame rate 30 frame per second and set this playback frame rate 30 and click on save. And now let's create brush stroke text animation inside of this fusion tab so we have to take a new fusion composition so right click on this media pool and click on new fusion composition and I'm gonna call it fusion comp. And set the duration of this composition maybe around 5 seconds which is good enough for now and click on create and drag this fusion comp on this timeline and then go to your fusion tab and here we get media out so just drag this media out over here for now and let's take a text note so click on this text button and drag this text to the viewer and let's type a text over here so I'm typing a stroke and set the size of this text maybe around 0.5 and in this case i'm using a free style script font style so this is our free style script font style that i have given a link in the description for this font style so go to the link and download this font style if you want and now let's take a background node so click on this busy button and add a background node and let's call it a stroke background and hit ok and now we have to take a paint node so just select this a stroke background hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for paint node select this paint node hit add button and let's call it a stroke so hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it a stroke and hit ok and drag this stroke to the viewer all right now Let's merge these both outputs. So let's take a merge node and let's connect this yellow background point with this text and use it as a background and connect this green foreground point with this stroke and use this stroke as a foreground and drag this merge to the viewer. All right, now we have to make this background transparent. So just select this stroke background and go to this inspector window and set this alpha zero and make it transparent. And if you want to keep these nodes clean and organized, we have to turn on grid snapping. So right click on this flow window, go to arrange tool and check this option to grid. And let's set it like that. All right. Now drag this merge to the viewer and select this a stroke and let's increase the size of this preview window and hit control and a scroll up to zoom in and set this text like that. And now we have to create a, a stroke path according to our text so select this polyline stroke and let's create a stroke according to our text so let's start from here and create a smooth control point by holding left mouse button and i think we have to change this text color for better visibility so just select this text and pick any different color like that hit ok and now select this stroke again and let's create a stroke path according to our text something like this all right now for second one so let's rotate it from here and it is totally depending on your text so create this stroke very carefully all right now let's rotate it like that now for third one so just rotate it like that all right now now let's start from here 
so take your time guys and create a nice stroke something like this all right so it's done and now select this stroke and go to this inspector window and let's close this apply control and open this brush control and set this softness maybe around 0.1 hit enter all right and let's set the size of this stroke so keep in mind just cover this blue area only so I think 0 0.02 is good for now and now let's reposition it and just cover this blue area. all right so it's looking nice now let's animate this stroke so just close this brush control and open this stroke control and let's animate this end value so go to around frame number 90 which is equal to three second and right click on this end and click on animate and go to the very beginning of this animation and set this end value zero and let's play this all right so it's looking nice now go to your spline window and check this option end and click on this fit button and select these both keyframes and click on this smooth button all right now close this spline window and now what we have to do so just select this merge one and go to this inspector window and here is our operator so as you can see our foreground is just over on this background so let's change this operator over to in and now our foreground is inside of this background all right and it's looking something like this now let's create a background for this stroke animation so we have to import an image file so go to media pool and right click on that go to import media and select your image so i'm using this image that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and link given in the description so go to the link and download this image from that link if you want and click on open and drag this image on this flow window and close this media pool and drag this image on this viewer and click on this fit button and as you can see it has a different proportion so let's fit this image so select this hit control plus a spacebar for search box and search for crop node select this crop node hit add button and drag this crop to the viewer and now it's looking perfect and just select this media in and hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's rename it to image and hit enter all right now drag this both node over here and let's make this image black and white so just select this crop node and click on this cc button and drag this color corrector to the viewer and go to this inspector window and set the saturation value zero and make it black and white and set this gain value maybe around 0.1 all right so it's looking something like this now let's merge these both outputs so let's take a merge node and connect this yellow background point with this color character and make it background and connect this green foreground point with this merge one and drag this merge to the viewer all right now we have to add a transform node after this merge one so just select this click on this transform button and now select this transform hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it control and hit ok and now you can control the size rotation and position of this text so set the size of this text maybe around 0.8 hit enter all right now let's add some more details on it so 
let's import a light leak file so go to media pool and right click on that go to import media and select this light leak file that i have given a link in the description so go to the link and download this light leak file and click on open and drag this light leak on this flow window and let's call it light leak so hit f2 on the keyboard and hit ok and let's merge this light leak so take a merge node and let's close this media pool for now and let's connect this yellow background point with this merge two and green foreground point with this light leak and use this light leak as a foreground and drag this merge three to this viewer and now select this merge three and go to this inspector window and change this apply mode normal to a screen all right and now let's set this blend or opacity value so set this blend maybe around 0.2 all right so it's looking something like this now let's animate this opacity so go to around frame number 35 to 37 and set this blend value zero and right click on this blend click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to six to eight frame forward in time and let's set this blend value 0.2 hit enter and now go to around 75 to 77 frame and click on this button to create a keyframe on 77 frame and go to six to eight frame forward in time and let's set this blend value zero and go to around 130 frame click on this button to create a keyframe on blend and go to six to eight frame forward in time and set this blend value maybe 0.2 hit enter all right so it's almost done so let's have a look all right so as you can see it's looking nice now let's add a scale animation on it so just select this merge 3 and click on this transform button to add a transform node and drag this transform to the viewer and select this transform hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's rename it to scale and hit ok and go to the end of this animation and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on size property and click on this diamond button to create a keyframe on angle property and then go to very beginning of this animation and set this a scale value maybe 1.1 and hit enter and set this angle maybe around three degree and hit enter and now we have a scale animation on it all right and finally connect this media out with this scale and then go to your edit tab and as you can see our text animation is ready for render so let's take a look so turn on this loop button and let's play this all right so it's looking awesome and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye